Today's adventure brings us to Mount Rosebrook. It will be number 68 for us on the New Hampshire Fire Tower list of the now 93 towers that are standing or once stood or were proposed. But we'll be doing this one a little differently, won't we, hon? We have passes to go on the ski lift. But we're hikers. Why would we go on a chairlift? Because it's free and there's no rules on how to get to the top of the mountain. That's right. Brenton Woods will allow you to go up their mountain on their chairlifts for free. Let's go. Okay, this is so much easier getting up a mountain than hiking it. <laughs> I mean, we are a ways up, but it's not too, too high. Now, when we get to the top up here, it's going to actually bring us to their mid-mountain restaurant, which we'll probably stop at after we get to the top of Mount Rosebrook. So we want to thank Brenton Woods for allowing us to ride free. And you can do it too. I believe they're doing it through September. This is the view behind us. The little rock pile, Mount Washington. And the rest of his little friends on the presidential range. Uh, this is cool. I like free. All right, all good things must come to an end. We are on the Upper Swoop Trail on our way to the summit of Mount Rosebrook. All right, so we're working our way up the Upper Swoop. And it's, it's a blue square, meaning it's only moderate, but I'd hate to come up a black diamond. These are fantastic. Right, let's get to the top and then we'll show you. We're off upper swoop. That was steep. Coming up to what I believe will be the top of Mount Rose Brook and our destination. Let's go see. Okay, we found the official high point of Mount Rose Brook, 3,004 feet, and there's the canister. Okay, we signed the notebook in the canister. I'm gonna put it back. It is official, number 68. Okay, we're standing on the top of Mount Rosebrook. We believe that this mountain got its name from who, hon? Elijah. Elijah Rosebrook. He owned an inn and was involved in building and repairing of roads throughout the notch. The fire tower that was up here, that's why we're here, it was from 1903 to 1928. This fire tower and it went over in Crowden, which we still are gonna need to get, so if anyone watching this knows anybody, let us know if we <laughs> can't get in there. Hint, hint. But anyway, it was actually established by the landowners before the New Hampshire Forestry Commission's organized the network. But it did remain in service until it was replaced by the fire tower over on Mount Hale in 1929. And of course now it's a ski area with some really steep slopes. Yes. So we're continuing our hike down. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a smooth ride. And these are the views we're getting while we're going down the mountain. It's nice that Mount Washington cleared right up like that. See the whole cog all the way up. Yeah. There's no bang bang on our feet. No. My knees are smiling. So from the single chair lift inside of Brenton Woods, anything you want to say, babe? <laughs> we found the canister on top of Rosebrook. So we've completed number 68 on the fire tower list. So from Brenton Woods ski area, the end.